think of that view as well. Power supply on this, the power supply on this died. I mean, notice every time I unplug this thing to move it, I couldn't get this unit to power on after wait five minutes, and then it would power on and run as normal. Everything would be fine then, it would just run perfectly fine. I only want to unplug it, and then I plug it back in after I've moved it, I've got to wait five minutes, otherwise it won't turn on. So yeah, the power supply has finally died in this one. There's a good power supply too. So, because sometimes I don't turn it on, I would turn it on for two seconds and turn back off again, so. Everything else is fine in this thing, it's just power supply. I never changed it from when I rebuilt this machine. That's the original power supply that I got with it. So it's just uh, got a bit old. It's a silver stone brand, uh, 750 watt. Very good build quality too. So I'll see if I can um, change it out and just use my Seasonic one out of my other computer, put the Seasonic one in it. That's an 850 watt Seasonic power supply, so I hope it'll fit in this case. I might be a lot luckier because I know this is a, um, the fan mightn't be in the right spot, but we'll see how we go. I'll take this power supply out. It means I've got to redo all my cable management in this thing. And there you go, is my good cable management. Just like that, my cable management ruined. Oh well, not to worry. It's well made power supply. Damn, it's heavy. That's about two, almost three kilos. This thing's a bloody brick. Wow, this thing's heavy. 750 watt power supply silver stone. You can see the format here. See, it's a thinner one. Shorter and thinner. That is bloody heavy. Wow. 28 amp, 30 amp and the 5 volt, 18 amp and the 12 volt. I reckon, yeah. Now I tried another technique, I unplugged the graphics card and other loads that weren't necessary to see if it would still turn on, and no, it didn't turn on. So this power supply is, uh, I will fix this dink up in it and rebuild it though. I'll probably use it for something else. This is meant to make a mean bench top power supply. That is heavy. Jeez, that's a real, very well made. That's a good power supply, I, just, I reckon I could recap this. It's just two power supplies with one essentially. You got a power supply board up there and all this other circuit boards, regulatory stuff. It's a, for a Chinese thing, it's a very good quality for a Chinese power supply. Anyway, I'll get my other the machine out. I don't think the other normal one, AT, ATX one's gonna fit. They're too wide. I'll get the um, other machine with the C Sonic power supply on it out. I have a feeling it's not going to fit. Brilliant, it does fit. A lot of it would be too tall, but no, it's perfect. Just a little bit shorter on that end. That's just longer, not thicker. That weighs half the weight of that. That is a nice power supply. I reckon I could fix that. Just change all the capacitors in it. Be in the um, standby circuit part of it, because when it was running normally, this thing would be fine, and this would be everything would be perfectly fine and stable. I checked voltages in the BIOS; everything was perfect. So it just when I turn it on, it just doesn't want to turn on sometimes. Especially as I said, I leave the power on it 24/7, it'd be fine, nothing wrong. Power on normally and everything, but only after I unplug it for a little bit and put power back to it, yeah, it just wouldn't power on enough to wait five minutes. Then it would power on, but yesterday it stopped powering on altogether. So. I tried disconnecting unnecessary loads, various things, no difference, even before, so time to rebuild that one. That is a nice power supply. That is bloody heavy. I love the quality of that one. I'll open it up later and show you the insides of it. Now it's completely out of the case. Wow, what a beast. Anyway, M12 bronze. This is a much better power supply again. The best one. It's a more energy efficient one too, so this is good for UPS, this brand. The uh, eco-efficient ones are these. Good for UPS work. Save your batteries. Anyway, let's get this thing together and get this thing up and running so we can upload this video. I powered up quite fine. I did my cable management a little bit. 
just got the GPE connected out of that fan. That is a tight fit. This fan here doesn't want to start sometimes. <sighs> yeah, that will kick off. Perfect. Nice new C Sonic power supply with a fan up the top, so that's getting plenty of airflow now. Well, it's got a lot of airflow. Wow. That'll run really nice on a cold day. Gaming hard. There we are. Perfect. That's that machine fixed. Now I've got an 850 watt power supply in there, more than what I need, as opposed to the 750 watt one that was in it. Yeah, well, my suspicions were correct there was a power supply. I knew it wasn't my, any other hardware. I knew my motherboard and everything was okay. okay Cause I've damn made damn sure about that. Oh well. I'll let this sit for another a while before I get a new power supply for that one. Which I get when I say I'm a good C Sonic. C Sonic is the best, then they got FSP, they were a good reputable manufacturer. They got um Corsair I've picked up a little bit, they've improved. They've actually improved a lot of the Corsair power supplies. They make a power supply like this long and thin. We always stick to, um, I'm going to stick to Seasonic for the best of the best, especially for um, Japanese components and efficiency. Most of the power supplies now use Japanese components, so and Antec power supplies do as well. Anyway, let's uh, take this thing apart and give us a look inside, just see what's, um, if there's any bulging caps in here. If there is, I'll change them out. Then I can uh, fix this dent up and probably put this in there if it'll fit. Don't see why it wouldn't. That is a nice power supply. Bloody heavy. Now here's how it all comes apart. It slides off. Wow, separate thought of motherboards in there. And here's the fan it uses. It's a Sanyo fan made in the Philippines. This is what the Antec and the Seasonics use actually. The top of the range power supplies use this fan. Sanyo Denki made in the Philippines. Quiet as a mouse. Enough wrong with that. Be careful there's no power still stored in this thing. That's a big capacitor. I want to get zapped by that one. A bit dusty. We're going to have to pull this apart even more. Yao Shang Electrica Limited. Anyway, let's pull this thing apart more. Do these under those screws. Just be very careful if there's any power still stored in this thing. It's going to be very wary of it. Because it'll give me a hell of a kick up the ass. I'll tell you that. Okay, viewers, I've got some bad TPO capacitors in here. Bulging caps. What do you know? One, two, three. Three down there. Etesis Inc. Who made this power supply? 2007, this is dated from. And I've got some here. One there, see? A bulging cap. 2615, I think that's the date code. Oh, this is fixable. TPO caps there, two there and two there. Completely fixable. I get my vacuum cleaner out and clean up my mess. This is fine. This, this power supply will be fine. I knew it was something simple. Hitachi capacitors. 105 degrees Celsius rated. Thin 90 microfarad, 420 volts. They'll give you a good boot up the arse. So be careful there. This is the biggest ones I've seen. It's got two bigger ones in this one. Good filtering. This is all just primary side. This is all mains power and regulation here. This is a lot of work that's going into this, and that's just for the primary side of it, and that's sort of secondary side. So if this gets a kick up the arse in a lightning storm or a power surge, there's all protection here to protect against that. This side will be fine. If this side survives, your computer's going to be fine. So a good power supply, a very good power supply. Definitely worth recapping. Got a little good filter choke system there, made in Thailand. That's a get any noise out of the line. Thick cables. Yeah, I'm going to give this thing a repair, I think. I might do this now on the shed. What, have I, what do I need? 16 volt, 1000 microfarad. Pretty common size. So I should have some, um, I've got some Japanese ones in stock, so take those cheap ones out and in goes to the Japanese caps. Oh, well, there's all celastic, but that's not fucked. Um, I can leave that there for now. Only if it's um, bulged. I might change it for the hell of it, though. It's not fucked yet, as I said. Be very careful here. 
set that like that. You got another board there with some botch wires on it, but that's just for vision reservoirs in the factory. TH two A one must be a thermal sensor, but it's already got those on this little board here. See, you got a little sensor there. If it gets too hot, this is a very good power supply. You got an adjuster there and a regulator. More daughter boards on there. On there is easy to get to. What's that one there? What's that? My manufacturer is obviously a TP 1000 microfarad, 25 volt. That can go. Definitely look how bulge that is. That's all on the um, regulatory part because it's on standby mode and it wasn't responding when I was pressing the power button. So those capacitors um, obviously were stopping the thing from turning on. So easy fix power supply. I put this away as it is. Put this in the shed when I get some spare time after work. I'm going to recap this and put it in that machine. Look at the quality of this thing. Very good quality power supply. So, I'm going to show you this side of the board. This is all secondary side here. I love it when it's on two separate boards. This is a good supply. Retouch up that diode. Although it's soldered pretty good anyway. It's got plenty of solder in there. The rectifier diodes going to these little switching transistors. We've got a diode here. A Zeno that's been replaced. Looks like they replaced a 561 slot 23 there. Taken it off at a second division of the board and scratched the board and then just stuck that little Zeno on there. An afterthought to improve this thing. It does say in it somewhere. Where did I read it? Version 2.8, yeah. It's been revised. Take this fan out, knock that dent out. I don't see any reason to throw this out. Just replace those capacitors and this thing would go for a long time yet. Because the rest are all good caps. These brown ones are all good quality, 105 degrees Celsius for the Japanese capacitors. What brand are those ones? Nippon Chemical and KY series. They're fine. Big shots there. Anyway, one, two, three, four capacitors are replaced. But I'll replace those two green ones there too. Even though they look unbulged, change them anyway. Those ones there are alright. So these look like they've been working the hardest. So they've taken the most brunt of the work and they've failed prematurely. Same with that one here. Yeah. They've done most of the work. Anyway, I clean up my mess and uh, reassemble this and put it on my workbench to repair when I get a chance. Beautiful. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.